It is another refreshing episode of the chat right here on HFTV, and I'm your girl Zinia bringing to you hot, hot, hot content. You know how we do it. I'm always excited. Why though? Calm down. Let's go for a quick break, come back and chat to an amazing lady that everybody loves to see on their platforms, but never get to see her all the time because she's always cooking something spectacular. Wow, it is spectacular. Let's take a quick break and we'll come back. Welcome back, fabulous people. We're right here on the chat, and I'm chatting to an amazing woman that I respect so much. I have so much respect for you, Omami. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Look at her. Why are you forming this humility? Or I don't know you? which one is this one that you are doing. Because <laughs> I don't understand, bro. I don't know you since like 2007. It's like entire industry. Hey, so much respect. So much respect for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Nancy. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How have you been? I've been good. I know you've been locked up in a studio somewhere. Yes, I have been recording. Um, and yeah. That's, it, That's amazing. How are my baby's doing? They're fine. They're How old fine. is the girl now? She's going to be five in June. Time does fly. Yes. Time does fly. Yes. yes and the second, is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. How are you managing motherhood? Um, I'm enjoying it. I don't, I don't see it as a management. Um, and I'm just blessed to have people around me that are good people. That's amazing. Know, so, That's great. Um, and then uh, their father is also very supportive. So we they work out the journey, they lose one. That is so great. But Rumor had it um, when you were having your daughter that the baby actually wasn't your husband's, it was your manager's. God forbid. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I don't like it. You actually, you were wrong. They, there was another person entirely. But And I also don't like talking about it. But because of you, um, I will be polite. Thank you so much. <laughs> if not, I will just deck you for I know now. I know. Um, yeah, and the reason why is because I don't, I don't like to, I don't feel that I owe anybody any explanation. It doesn't concern anybody what I do with my life. I've always made sure that, you know, it is mostly the music that I try to put out. Some people say, oh, there isn't any distinction between you as an artist and your personal life, that you should be prepared. I feel those people are wicked people. Okay. If you can, if you can um, get satisfaction from seeing somebody down. Well, I guess maybe because you know they don't, they don't, they, they feel like um, people who are artists that their lives should be on. You yeah, know. so they can scrutinize yeah, it scrutinize anyhow. Scrutinize it anyhow. So what they don't like is I don't give them that power, and because I don't give them that power, they begin to cook up all sorts. So the people who used to, you know, question people who used to point at different fingers to say, "Oh, na a born the beginning, na b born the beginning." So those, the ones who were hitting their chest with conviction, now that you see that the story is different, did anybody come out to tender an apology to me? Nobody did. Nobody did. Any. So, and I wasn't expecting any. So that's why I'm really, whenever it comes to things that have to do with me, it doesn't concern anybody. Out of the goodness of my heart, I can just wake up and post one photo here, one photo there, but I'm not under any um, uh, compulsion to do anything because you find out, Michael Jackson don't die. Whitney Houston don't die. Prince too don't die. One day, who they come this life could die. And if you start to think about what other people think about your life and what you say, <laughs> Carry on. I like digging information. So I have been doing a lot of digging. Now, when you got married, I heard something else. I wasn't in Nigeria at that time. So mm -hmm. news met me in South Africa that you instead got married to Dr. Fraps, Mr. Fraps. No. The music person. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not even going to answer you. Honestly, I swear to God. You're, you were digging. See how you put yourself in the spot. You were digging. So as you are now, you can't even dig the right thing out. It's the industry. People always have the wrong things to say about everybody, but it depends how they come out to defend those things about themselves. Dr. Fabs is a good friend of mine. I don't think it is right that <clears throat> he's living his life. He's probably married to somebody else right now. I've been with somebody for the the past five years and you know we've been married for more than one year so i don't wow. see i honestly don't know please dig the right way i'll start digging the right way now please. but i like the way she just covered that up so we can stop talking about it please. we can put it to rest right now please. talking about how you manage to not give people that much pleasure to talk about you how do you keep yourself away from the news i don't keep myself away from the news but I don't, I don't, I don't want to be in it. Okay. You know, I would love to be in the news every day. I wish, you know, somebody would, you know, put me in the news every day, put my music in the news every day. Yeah. You know, I would really love. So it's not like I deliberately set out, but I don't like to give people room to scrutinize my life. 
I don't feel that you deserve that right That's to true. do so. Um, the people who their opinion when it comes to my personal life matters to me. I said it on one of my posts that I really, I posted on Instagram a couple of days ago. Say so, you know, if you count them with finger, they don't. As in, if you count with my mom, my children, my husband, my mother-in-law, my family, my brother-in-law, you know, mm-hmm. we are, it, it, they're not many. No. The rest people, don't be afraid. Ask me the one I don't want to answer. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't have to. Don't worry. Don't worry. Today. No, no. I'm I don't buy you on the spot. I just want to know more. No, it's it's always good to dig to know it's more. Fine. And I'm happy it's that I'm talking to the person herself so I don't get to listen to rumor on the street. No, okay, now let's get down to your music. If you look keenly, you've done a lot of collabs. Yes. Yeah, on your albums. But we haven't well, seen close. videos of, oh, of yeah. those collabs. Why? Mm. Is there a reason why you don't? The thing about it is that there's a way I work. Mm. I used to, not now. I used to uh, put out videos for the songs that I feel cannot stand on their own as songs. Like till tomorrow, people always fight. Why didn't you release a video for Serious Love One Sentence? But you know the song. You know the song. So the the idea behind uh, promoting a song is uh, a video. But when the song is already promoted, you gotta look for the one that needs promotion. It's like when Jesus came, he did not come for the ones that are saved. He came for the sinners. Yeah, that's true. So that's that's what I used to do, but I just feel like right now I'll probably just start shooting everything. Most of my collabs are fantastic collabs; they stand on their own, and you know. So I just feel like when you discover it, you find out that diehard fans are like me. I love the song that Mommy and Tiffy did together. I love the song that Mommy and Tima did together. So. You're one artist that doesn't do a lot of collabs with other African artists. Why? I haven't happened upon it. Um, I, 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 I always work with happenstance. Like, um, I have not performed in England before. Okay. Um, when they ask me, why, why, as in a mommy, why? You've been in this industry for so long, mm-hmm. you know, and I tell you, maybe the time, the right time hasn't come. So I'm not one of all those people that's pressured into doing things because yeah. the time has come and then you can do something properly. So, um, I will happen, like right now, I've uh, featured Anjali Kijo in mm-hmm, one That was a major feature. Yeah, and then I have uh, Salif Keita in another one. And then I also have um, uh, Uhuru on, oh, on, that's on great. one. That would be a good one. Yeah, I have a couple of African artists. But don't you think it's, um, it, it's it, you did it when it was overdue? I don't do things based on whether it is overdue or um, pretend. I've just always done me. You know that song, Me Belly. Mm-hmm. It means it's my it's my son. It yeah. means I will not conform. I know they follow anybody. You know, okay. And my own one. You know. So there's no pressure. There's nobody like people say. Where is your album? Why is your album not out? We need the album. It will come. One when day it is time. ready. So I'm not under any pressure. They compare one of our young artists. She's not young. They compare her so much to you. Yay! <laughs> like, truly speaking, they compare her so much to you. I am you. so happy to hear that. Do you that. think you actually did inspire her the way that she talks about it? She she has said so, you know. She has said so before that, oh, um, I inspire her. And I'm, I'm really honored and I'm really glad. But I think that Yemi Alade is, is a fireball cannon on her own. And she's just ready to go kaboom, you know. I admire her very much. But that is the Oma, that is how you were, fi- is there a word like fire ra? <laughs> <laughs> you were more of a firebomb than what we see now in the young females in the yes, industry. Yes. What happened? I, don't, I guess I grew up. Okay. So when you grow up, you lose the fire? No. You just put it and make sure that it is cooking something. It's not just carry fire and be bumping. And be bumping. <laughs> Instead, you put water on top of it, let the water boil, and okay. use it to cook something. Okay. Um, I, I don't, I, I, I don't think it's fair to say that because there are people who, even in their old age, still, you know, they're still fireballs. They still do what they need to do. I just feel like um, it's a different direction now for me. I've always been that kind of person. When you think I'm going in this direction, I'm going in that direction. Somebody was, when I was worried about working on my album, like, oh my God, now people, people will not like this work. The guy now told me, you are the one person who shoved a big pop song down our throats to yeah. the extent that market women were singing along. Yeah. If you can do that. My first single was a South African based single mm-hmm. in a time where Still a classic. it had not broken into the Nigerian market. Yeah. And I just held on to it. Now, I, now we got became, and the woman I said, I won't do. 
now I go to. And it's so, still a classic till today. I hope so. <laughs> it is a classic. It's still my favorite Omaomi song till today. Thank Let's talk you. about you working with Angelique Kijo. How was that experience for you? It was wonderful. It was, it was, it was, I don't know. It's like, it, it was like a dream. At some point I cried because I couldn't believe it. And she was like, what's wrong with you now? <laughs> hey, Omaomi, stop crying. She's, she's a mother. She's, she behaves like a mother. And she's so warm and so, and she, she just, She's, you see that fireball? Mm -hmm. She's still it. She's still it. <laughs> she's still me. We don't cool down. This woman is still a, as in, she, everybody, let's go. I'm like, wow. She's still on Anamala P, as in, she's still, and then she knows she has so much respect in the industry. Everybody loves and respects her. She has no airs, absolutely no. Wow, that's amazing. I don't know how to describe her. She's a fantastic musician. That's amazing. If I keep, I, 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 anytime I talk about her, I just keep moaning, you know, blah, blah, blah. That lady. She's, she's, she's who I want to be. And how has the song been doing? It's been doing fairly well. It's been doing really good. Um, I like the song. It's not necessarily mainstream, mm -hmm. but it carries the message that I want it to carry. Okay. So songs like that might not you know, be in your face because it's not bang badi bang badi bang badi immediately, but that's the kind of song that will last. That's the true. That's true. Okay, cool stuff. Before I let you go, there's something that has been bothering me lately. Yes, um, yes. Let me first ask you this question: mm -hmm. Do you think an artist is supposed to be a role model? Not necessarily to other artists or young up and coming artists, but a role model to the society. It's a very tough question. I have an either or. Um, my school of thought is either or. As an artist, do you understand? I think that your work should be to to make an impact. Mm -hmm. Let your name be unforgettable. And that impact that you are making, you need to, to use it positively. So it's not all about, you know, making people dance and boogie. Say something. Contribute to your society. Now, being a role model means that, you know, you have to live your life a certain way. And I don't think that I'm, I should be in a position to judge because... Hey, I live my life the way I want to, you know. And I don't want anybody to come and say, because my mommy did it, I want to do it. But I know that I have a tool. And that tool is to help. I need to do something that will make it you know, impact in somebody's life. Do you, am I making sense? I'm you trying as much as possible. You, you know, but that role model, I think it's too, you know, stuck in his ways. I think it's too... You know, like nobody is a saint. No, but exactly. You nobody know, role model. Better go one day. You can't give me past the walk. I know. Yeah, nobody is a saint because there's been a controversy around you. I don't even think you know about it because we're in the industry. What is it? No. Okay, it's like she is a mother. She is doing motherhood. It's amazing because young girls want to be like her, but she has a smoking and a drinking habit. How does she keep that away from her kids? Um, I'm not going to. Um, how will I put it now? I won't, um, I won't honor you with a response. Okay. I feel that that is a taint to my character. I feel, have you seen me smoking before? No. So why would you say that? Because have you seen me smoking before? Right. Now you see me as an artist. I am contributing what I can. I make music the way that I should. And I come here and I honor your invitation. And then you sit down and talk about my smoking and drinking to people that are listening and you're supposed to mean me well when these people are supposed to be the ones that are buying my music that when you say that sort of thing do you mean me well okay now no 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 you why brought it up yeah, so we must ask we did you mean do you of mean me well i do so have you seen me smoking before no i haven't so why would you say something that you because have not I seen want you to kill that no 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 and you don't need to ask me to kill a rumor that you had you are not sure about so first and foremost you have said it and it is a rumor as a rumor you need to go and dig and get your facts right before you come and ask somebody something but if you have not seen it i maintain that if you have not seen me smoking 
and you come out and say it on national TV, that means you don't mean me well. And that is the end of this interview. And you will publish it though. As we all see, the interview didn't end as planned or as we would have loved for it to end. But you all know that things do come out every other day. And you must be able to stand to all of those things and either defend yourself. It's up to you. It's an industry that growth is a constant and you just can't run away from the truth. Especially when it's looking at you in the face. We do very, very much love Amalmi and we support her music because it's good music. Take it away. Yes. Yes. Yes.